Hi, Karen with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I am here with a Cut To You design team layout and I am featuring the Shooting Stars cut file today. And I am also solving case file number 372 of the CSI challenge. And I have taken complete inspiration from that photo prompt that is part of the challenge. And it's all about stars and a in, in a night sky and the moon and things like that. So I thought it was perfect to go with the Shooting Stars cut file. And I am going to try to attempt to create a bit of a night sky as my background. And so this has got quite a lot of mixed media, lots of inks and sprays and lots of water goes on this page. And I have pre uh, backed my cut file with pattern paper from Coco Vanilla's Legendary Collection. I have a little bit still left in my stash, so I pulled out just a few things that are around that shapes of stars and anything to do with the moon and things like that. So that will feature a little bit later as, as we go through the recording today. And um, I really just went to town when it comes to the mixed media. I wanted to create a night sky and so I have used lots of sprays and the ones that I'm using today are Lindy's Gang sprays. And this first color, it's a got a bit of a mushroomy color, but the name is actually Raven. It's called Midnight Rendezvous Raven. So, but it does have this sort of mushroomy pinkish sort of tone to it. But, and that was a great way to start the actual underlying colors. That's the big thing about mixed media is the more, is just the different layers that you place on top of these on each other. Um, and at, luckily for me, I'm using things from the same sort of color end or opposite color end. So I'm not creating mud as I go along. Um, and I've really just one of the colors that that greeny color there was really part of my inspiration and where I got the idea from in terms of using the legendary collection as well. And it's, this is a ink that a spray that came out earlier this year called Outer Space Aqua. There was a whole set of Lindy's Stamp Gang that had this sort of space type theme and I and I did purchase that several months ago. And I love that aqua color. It is so, so, so pretty. Um, so I've just used the packaging technique. So I've sprayed my spray out onto some plastic packaging and added a little bit of water as well just to make sure give it a little bit more run across the page and then i've just smushed it around the page it's pretty simple you can't really go wrong and if you do go wrong you can always cover it up um and the big thing about my layout for this time is that it's just built on layer upon layer um so what i'm doing there is i in my stash this stencil i have no idea how long i've owned this stencil it's it's just <laughs> got no idea i think it's a prima stencil it's just a star stencil as you can see and i am smushing through some nouveau embellishment mousse in platinum just to give a little bit of shine to the page as well now off camera um i did work on this over several days so and i got and i had the sprays dry naturally so Right now you can see there's a lot more color and a lot more effort on that page. And that's really just because every couple of hours or during the day or whatever, while I was home, I'd come and add another little bit of plastic packaging technique and add some more layers. So the other colors that I did use for this is called Tello Wheel Teal, which is a, that bluey color that gives it that real richness. And I also did do me do some gag me with a spoon gray. My goodness, you've got no idea how much I hate that title of that um, of that one. And I also used galactic teal, which is just gorgeous as well, which gave that real blue and gave it back into that colors of the legendary collection. I did also put heaps of splatters. I love a good splatter. And um, I just used my Dina Wakely gloss spray there for those splatters. So what I also decided to do is um, back, well, actually, I'm not really backing these, the shooting star components there. I'm placing the insides or the negative spaces from the cut file. And I have sprayed those with 
that grayy silver color in the Lindy's gang as well just to give it that oomph I, I felt that I really I didn't really want to back it I wanted to have the colors shine through but I felt it look, didn't look quite right so um, I did use that gray tone and I thought that gave it a really good view across the page as well so really that's about it when it comes to creating that background it was just a little bit of fun I had lots of fun pulling it together and now I'm just backing my photo with some of the pattern paper. I do pop it up on foam and then I get to embellishing. Now, oh, I haven't talked about the photo, have I? This is a photo of my nephew, always scrapping my nephews. Uh, this one happens to be Oliver. And he used to love staring out the window when he was just a little tiny bubba. And so I've, I, I thought um, this would be a, a fun way to sort of go back into that. Also, the photo of the CSI challenge is more about kids and babies and things like that. So I thought that was perfect for that. And I um, decided to call the title, the layout, just window dreamer. He used to just sit by the window and stare out and watch things go by. Not a lot went by that house. It was in a cul-de-sac. Um, but he used to love just sitting there and watching that. So I've just here, um, just really playing around with the embellishments. Some of the CSI challenge evidence was all about animals as well. So I thought that polar, is that a polar bear? Um, the polar bear face was perfect for that. And I just added some more stars to the layout just so we could get that tie in back as the sky as well. And I've got a little of one of the banner pieces at the top of the page. And I should also mention, you probably did see, but um, I did pop this cup bowl up on some foam as well to give some dimension to the page. I added one of the flares as well. I was really surprised that I actually still had some of this left in my stash. So I, I loved this collection. I've made a lot of layouts with this one. So I think I must have bought some more at some point. I decided I thought, let's add a moon and some more stars around that moon. And I've placed that actually on the photo itself in that white space because that's just the, the it's covering up part of the photo that's really irrelevant to the picture and it's actually the vertical blind so I thought that was a really good way to sort of hide that because the vertical blinds were halfway across the window when he was looking out of this window that day so I thought that was the perfect place to put all that and to finish off the layer I do add some extra sprays and cut and also some splatters across the page and that is pretty much it as always there will be a link in the in there will be a link in the bo uh, in the box below giving you the details of where you can get to the cut file and also there's a link to the cut to you headquarters over on the facebook group as well and there'll also be a link to the csi challenge blogs as well it'd be great if you joined in this month cut to you is a big sponsor of the challenges every month and we love it when you share as well so there will be some close-ups and thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time. Bye for now.